studying business economics at this very time. He says the hardest fight he ever had was against a Mexican, Martin Cardenas. He won that on points in Port Elizabeth in 1989. He's the current holder of the South African light flyweight title, and he's held that title twice, having lost it at one point and then regained it. But he's never held the South African flyweight title, the Edstone title. Highway Championship is after the other month. So, already for round nine. Second time, right now. American referee has had very little to do in this fight. How did he seem? playing it quite cautiously. The attacks are only coming in limited bursts. And he's constantly getting himself on the ropes and allowing the little man to swarm up against him. And that's aggression from Maglala. And it could be only in points. You couldn't really say that Pamplada has done enough so far to put himself into a winning position. He's going to do a lot of work to take the world champion's fight away, title away rather. And I don't think Pamplada has done that sort of work. However, that's all down to the judges if it goes the distance. back if the bell goes and now he's back to Bernardo Checo and Barney Eastwood in the corner I think if I were in that corner attending McCauley I'd be inclined to say to him right now come on we want three very positive final rounds now we don't need to save too much energy now we're in the last stages and we can afford to spend, spend some of it now, I think he really needs three positive rounds now some action from that last round with McCauley pumping away here trying to find a way through that covered defence the little man 4 foot 9 inch South African is uh, quite capable of taking care of himself so 3 rounds to go and McCauley perhaps on the verge of making some British boxing history.
Macaulay, the IBF champion, in this fifth defense of his title against the man from Soweto, 29 year old baby Jake, Jacob Maglala. Nice to see South Africa gradually being drawn back into the sporting pole after years of isolation. Brian Mitchell has been the most successful recent fighter, world champion. And of course, South African boxing history goes back a long way, and they've had great fighters in the past, uh, white fighters for the most part in the past. Going back to the days pre war of Ben Ford, South African heavyweight. Good attempt by McCauley. Almost like the better wings off the ropes. McCauley's still looking for the counter punches. Allowing the other man to leave first. Well covered up. Continue <laughs> another of those sharp punches. Only once he really looked like uh, doing serious damage. And rather than several rounds ago with the right hand. Last. Randy Newman looking right into his eyes, I'm noticing he's going to beat the count, he hasn't, he didn't beat the count, and in the 10th round, Dave Boy Macaulay knocks his man out with one extraordinary punch, this man has some really amazing battles, and there it was, quiet for round after round after round, and then suddenly, the explosive end, and Dave Boy Macaulay has made his fifth successful consecutive defence and he makes British boxing history and Tony Baker one of his assistants leading him round and signalling to the crowd come on the fortune man he's done it again Macaulay is still the champion well I don't know what Barney Eastwood was saying to Macaulay it looks as though he's pretty excited Ladies about what's happening, and I'm not surprised. Three Here's minutes, the 23 seconds into round 10. The referee stopped the contest on a count out, and the winner and still flyweight champion of the world is Dave Boy Macaulay. And Belfast rises to greet its champion. So Macaulay has done it again, and from out of the, the quiet of a very ordinary fight, one has to say, from out of the quiet, suddenly came the explosion, and it was over. Well, we may well see that uh, finish again once we get Macaulay up for interview. Ladies and gentlemen, the boxes now being presented once again to Dave Boy Macaulay by Robert W. Lee, supervised